Well, here we are sitting at the bus stop and looking at the timetables and everything. It's a bit confusing. I looked on the internet last night and there's a 9.33 bus, but when we get to the bus stop, it says 10.33, so we might have to make an alteration. We'll just have a look. So and if the 9.33 doesn't turn up, we can change our plan rather than waste another hour sitting here. But it definitely said that there is a 9.33 and, and I'm going to trust that. So are you alright this morning then? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. We had a good feed last night, didn't we? Yes. Very good. Yeah. And uh, we're not far from Berwick. And then when we get to Berwick, we, you're going to go your way and I'm going to go my way. Seems to be like this. Yeah. And it's been, we've had a really good two or three days together. We've had some fun. We've had some... Yeah. Four, you know? four days even. Yeah. It's been great. Yes. It's been great. Right, it's 10 o'clock on Sunday and we're heading off now in the direction of Holy Island and we're going to be stopping at Beale, booked in at a campsite and uh, at the barn of Beale which is very nice and uh, all we need to do is get to Beale and then I'll drive down in the bus, pick the van up and uh, we'll be back in business. Well, this makes a great big change from walking along the coast, just looking at the the sea and the sand and the cliffs and uh, everything attached to the coast. So actually, it's very nice to walk through the country and this really is a lovely walk. This is still part of the uh, English coastal path walk um, and it's called St Cuthbert's Way. And we're heading now towards a place called Fenwick, which uh, is not far from the coast. And then the walk takes us to Holy Island or Lindisfarne, whichever you want to call it. And um, at that stage, I'm going to stop at a place called Beale. And it's from there where we had the catastrophe this morning. Well, it wasn't a catastrophe. The, the 9.33 bus, in actual fact, is the 10.33 bus and uh, it was a bit misleading the internet but never mind so I've only lost I haven't actually lost any time at all apart from having to drive back to Beale which only took 10 minutes so uh, I've got plenty of time to either catch the 2.33 bus or the 6.33 bus whichever fits in the best so I'm just heading along I don't know where France is I thought he would have caught me up by now uh, but uh, he'll he'll be along soon.
Well, here I am again, sat in the bus stop, waiting for the 233 bus from Berwick to Beal, and uh, then that will take me to back down to Belford, where I'll pick up the camper van and bring it back up here to a very nice campsite just around the corner. Franz uh, went in a different direction. He's gone to finish the walk. Um, which will take him almost back onto Holy Island before he then comes back to Beale from sort of east to west. So we'll be meeting up when I get back around about 3, 3.30, something like that. It's been a very pleasant walk this morning. Uh, it made a real nice change to be walking on some really nice tracks through the countryside instead of either on the beach looking at the sea or the cliffs and uh, the weather hasn't materialised into a scorcher like it said it would. It's still a bit cloudy, but um, it's warm and it's pleasant, and it's T-shirt weather, which is nice. Tomorrow we get to Berwick-on-Tweed, and um, I've got a complete change of plan from my original 390-day plan. It's not that I'm scrapping the plan, it's still gonna be the same plan. But instead of walking around Scotland throughout sort of June, July, August, I'm going to drive over to Gretna Green and continue south from there. And then the Scottish section will be added on at the end. So when I get back to Grimsby, which should be difficult to say really, uh, the first two or three months of next year, I'll be uh, having a bit of a rest and then I'll drive back up to Berwick, more or less where I am now, and go around the Scottish part of the British Isles route. There's several reasons for this. One is I'm getting a little bit concerned that I might get stranded somewhere on the Western Isles. Um, my intention was to go down the Western Isles and use ferries, be a lot more scenic and it would avoid Glasgow. Also the pace of the walk, uh, reaching John O'Groats, which is still a long, long way. It's still a good 600 miles walk. Bearing in mind that I've just about walked 300 now and it's taken me 34, 35 days. Um, another 34, 35 days is another month, um, which would take me to the end of June. I've also thought it would be very nice to be in England for my 70th birthday where my family can come and meet me. Don't know where I'll be, I could well be by that time somewhere Liverpool, North Wales or maybe even further. We could have a, a little bit of a party. and. Um, there's another factor, Scotland, I'm told, the, is very expensive in terms of the campsites. There are only half as many campsites on the Scottish East Coast as there are on the English East Coast. I can't use my bus pass in Scotland. And uh, when you get to the very north, there's very little in terms of habitation, places to stay, and even worse down the Western Isles. Um, I'm sure on the mainland there'll, there'll be plenty of campsites and that kind of thing, but then again, they'll all be fully booked at this time of year. Whereas in England, I think I've got a better chance and I'll be starting the walk south from Gretna Green into England. And that will be a good time to start at the beginning of June, where I'm gonna get the benefit of sort of six weeks maybe or nearly two months before the school holidays which gives me a chance of getting some campsites it will become more difficult in the school holiday period obviously but by that time i don't know quite where i'll be but i think i think this is a, a good idea and um, i think it will work better i'm walking well i'm not i've got no complaints about the distances i'm covering and i think i've done extremely well but I really think it would be a bit foolish to go off into the Western Isles, that's it really. And uh, I did think about walking to John O'Groats and then driving back 
past Loch Ness to Gretna Green, but that, that still would make things difficult and also it would make me worry and I'd, 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 I don't want to worry, I don't want any stress on this, I don't want to be chasing my tail, I don't want to feel as if I'm behind the plan and um, I, don't, I don't want to be playing catch up all the time and, and I think that this is the best way of doing it. Five years after the event, this map should simplify my plan. Having walked up the east coast from Grimsby to Berwick-on-Tweed, where France and I parted company, I drove the van across to the west coast, to the west of Carlisle, at the end of what was Hadrian's Wall. From Carlisle, it was a simple case of heading south, with the sea on my right at all times, all the way to Liverpool via Cumbria and the Lancashire coast. Then from Liverpool into North Wales and Anglesey, before walking the entire coast of Wales to the Severn Bridge. Be on the film. Your name is Susan. Susan, Susan Parkins. Lynn. And Lynn. Hiya. Well, these are two Hello. very nice ladies that met on the back of the bus. Yeah. On the back seat of the bus. A long, a long time since I've been on the back, of the back seat of a bus for strange ladies. There's my camper van there, look, the, the purple one. Oh, oh yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. It's left hand drive. I bought that in Bulgaria and brought it back with oh, me. Oh my god. Well, it's quarter to eight on Monday morning and uh, France is going to go off and walk from here to Berwick. I'm going to take the van to Berwick and then get a bus back here and then I'm going to walk. I'll be following him probably two hours behind. He's got some shopping to do in uh, Berwick and then we're going to try and meet up later. We're not quite sure where or when but we can telephone each other, probably at the railway station, maybe 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. But if you don't, if we don't meet, if we miss each other, it's been great meeting you. It's been very good meeting you. I hope, yeah. I hope we can walk over the bridge to Scotland together. Yeah. But, but that might not happen. It might happen. We don't we know. We will see. Yeah. That was uh, very good of you, that you gave me this many comfort. I didn't have to carry my backpack for a few days <laughs> it's been great and, yeah and great we, we've had a good time and it's thanks been a, very much for this yeah and, and you're a lovely guy and and, and look after yourself look yes after you yourself. too i hope to see you later but if not goodbye goodbye <laughs> and we will we'll probably meet again one day yes yeah yes okay 
Thanks, Franz. Thank you. Thanks Na also. Nice to see you. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye now. It's 9.30 now, Monday morning, and I'm Scotland bound, and a uh, bit of a disaster in a kind of a way this morning. Well, not a disaster, but a lot of messing around. I, France went early, and he's on his, he more or less should be in Berwick by now, because he's a very fast walker. And um, I took the van and parked it up at Berwick railway station, and uh, the cash point didn't work, so I had to go and find a cash point, and I got back just in time to the station to see the bus pull away, which is quite annoying. So for the first, well, not, the, not exactly the first time, but the first time for a, for a decent journey, I decided to get a taxi because the next bus wasn't until 11 o'clock, and I wasn't gonna sit around in Berwick for two hours. So I got a taxi right back to where I carry on the walk, well, looking at Holy Island. And uh, I think it's about 10 miles today, thereabouts. And that should take me three to four hours. It's gonna be flat like this.
Well, it's two o'clock and I've reached Tweedmouth and I can see ahead the bridges that take you over the River Tweed and I'm not quite sure whether that's actually into Scotland or not but certainly it's over the River Tweed so um, I'll be able to see the famous railway bridge in the background and then I've got to walk up to the railway station and shift the van and a big drive to Carlisle and uh, I'm looking forward to it I'm looking forward to it The third time, there's something spooky about this. <laughs> the third time I've met you in. This is, did you get everything you needed? Um, most I got. I need a little bit food yeah. now and water, and then I can start. Right, you're heading out. Okay. Yeah, it was a long way, longer than I imagined. Boring. It wasn't very interesting. Yeah, the the end was nice. No, the end was nice, but. Yeah. The, you know, when you're walking past them sand dunes and alongside the railway yeah. track, there's just nothing to see. It's the same yeah. for about five miles. There's just nothing yeah. to see. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 